Are you looking to sell on Amazon? Are you selling on Amazon right now? Before you even pick your first product, you need to know one thing, and that's what kind of business are you going to have? We're gonna answer that question in this video, so stay tuned, watch, and if you don't believe me, then believe the numbers. Cedar Sense is very successful. The company that I had built uh, about a year and a half ago is having awesome numbers, including selling over a half a million dollars in the last 12 months. These numbers are real, folks. This question is <laughs> real, and the answer I'm about to give you is even realer, so follow me. This is one part of a 15 part series that I'll be releasing all throughout the next few days on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, these videos will, will both go on YouTube and Facebook. So if I kind of address one or the other, uh, just hang in there with me. Um, so yeah, you're watching this video because you are interested in selling online, if not Amazon. Um, and it's, it can be a very tricky game, but I'm telling you from my personal experience, if you can get it down to a, to a good point, it can be a real game changer in your life. It is, it is completely changed my life as for it's gotten me out of my uh, my career that I had for 11 years and uh, got me to essentially work at home I'm home every night with my family it's a beautiful thing and it's all because I learned how to sell on Amazon now you might be at the point where you're just starting out or let's say you uh, you haven't even thought of a product yet or maybe you have a product in mind um, this is this is where uh, this doesn't get talked about hardly at all and that's what I want to talk about in this video. The first question I want to ask you before you pick out your product or anything is what type of business are you? <laughs> Hang in there with me. Let's figure that out. Now, there's essentially three different types of businesses you can run. You can run what you see right here, a branded business, or you can run what you see right here, a diverse seller's business. Now. Both of them have their own pros and both of them have their both own cons. And the third one that you can do is both <laughs> right there. So um, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to go through what a branded business is and what a, a diverse selling business is and, and how you can actually eventually do both if you want to get to that point. But we want to, I really want to emphasize what the difference of these businesses and why you should be thinking about this before you even choose your first product. Now we're gonna dive into some screen sharing here real quick. I'm gonna show you on my computer what a branded business is, a few examples of it uh, that includes my business and a couple other that I know that the, what people are doing. So hang in there with me. All right, let's jump over to my computer. Okay, throughout this throughout this series of videos, we are made, we are basically gonna kind of stay in the Amazon realm. This is where I kick the most butt. As you can see, my numbers, you know, $80,000 months, uh, over half a million in a year. Um, Amazon is where I am doing very good. We're going to kind of stay here. And uh, in the beginning here, we're going to talk about wh what a branded seller looks like. So we're going to look at three different tiers of branded sellers. We're going to look at one that's having way more success than I'm having. We're going to look at my company that I am a branded company. And then we're going to look at somebody that is just starting out and what they're trying to do as a branded company. So you're going to see three different levels. It's kind of cool. Um, hanging here with me. Uh, the first one we're going to, we're on Amazon, as you can see. The first one we're going to look at is Poopery. Now, I'm not sure if you're you're familiar with poopery but I, I i simply love what these people do they're very effective and as you can see they are number one in air freshener number one in, in fragrant room sprays and uh we're just going to kind of dive into them a little bit poopery so ha hang in here with me it's an it's an awesome awesome product uh, i actually do have this myself and it works i will testify to, to poopery um we're going to visit their store and just take a good look at them uh, poopery uh, will go into their best sellers all scents whatever whatever you really want to look go into you can see that they all sell the same type of product for the most part it is the same stuff uh, they're different scents different sizes there's refills but it's all in the same lane you guys it's the same lane uh, they're not getting out there and trying to sell pool cleaning equipment or they're not getting out there and trying to sell you a blender or anything like that they are selling you uh air fresheners and they're very very adamant on that's what they're doing that is their brand air fresheners as you can see and they have a lot of best sellers they have all sorts of different scents that you can see down here and they're very good at what they do it's 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 pretty amazing i mean these from what little bit of numbers i can crunch they pull in big 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 time they are a multi-million dollar a year seller it's it's i i, I actually kind of model some of the stuff that i do on them so now we're going to talk about we're going to look at take a look at our company cedar sense typed in cedar sense on amazon and if you guys are noticing right here um you're noticing these uh 
this stuff up here it's it's helium 10 i use it for if you're a beginning seller on amazon i strongly suggest helium 10 it's an awesome tool to use but you're going to look at take a look at my store here um now you can see how my products are all kind of in the in the cedar realm or the wood realm so you're looking at cedar sachets cedar rings cedar balls i sell these uh burnt wood american flags they're all kind of like in the wood i stay in my own niche as far as wooden products decor and uh and just products that are their home and kitchen i think that's the category i'm in um and yeah that's that's what i do you can you can see this is my brand that i am building currently building as we speak and it's it's having a lot of success now we're going to go to a person that's up and coming um they're very very new to the game but they are doing the same sort of thing so if, if you're just starting out you know, look at what a person like Don Apon is doing now. If you look at Don Apon, they don't have very many products out there, but their products that they have out there are the same. Um, they're, 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 the, they have an outdoor the, theme. I'm going to say he because I personally know this guy that's selling these products. Um, he has an outdoor theme. This is a water uh, <laughs> waterproof sack um, for a backpack, and he does sell the backpack that goes with it. So it's kind of the accessory. And if you scroll down here a little bit more, um, he is selling a right here, Don Upon. You can see it again. He's selling a cell phone carrier that goes on your bike. So, okay, so his backpack is is a fishing tackle box. It's actually really I have one myself. I really like him. Um, he's selling the accessory to go to the backpack, and now he's and he's also selling a cell phone carrier that goes on your bike. So what he's what he's doing is he's scaling products that are outdoor themed products that is his brand i don't think he's going to come out with uh, a laundry detergent anytime soon because it doesn't fit his brand what he's trying to do so that is the difference between a branded seller and what we're going to talk talk about next and uh next I'll, I'll set it back i'll get off the computer for a second and we'll set up what a diverse seller is let's talk about what a diverse seller is a diverse seller is a seller a amazon seller out there or you know any type of seller but for this case an amazon seller out there that sells a wide variety of products that but they are not related so we just talked about what a brand seller is a brand seller is going to sell the type of products that are all related with each other a diverse seller is going to sell products that are going to make money and they do not have to have anything to do with each other at all and and i do know uh, uh people that sell like this and they're super successful super successful uh, i know a, a guy i won't mention his name but i do know him personally he kind of was a, a mentor to me um for a while that sells over three million dollars a year on amazon alone and he sells a wide variety of products he's very very successful at what he does and i would label him a di diverse seller so we're going to hop back over to the computer screen here and i'm going to show you one example of a diverse seller all right, so this is an example on Amazon of a diverse seller. Now, we're not gonna go through a bunch of different sellers. I'm really just gonna show you one that I know of that's having a lot of success. We're gonna go to their home. Um, their company is called Blisson. As you can see right down here, Blisson, B-L-I-S-S-U-N. Do not know the owner. Don't know if it's a male, female, or whatever. Um, but as you can see, they sell different products under the same brand name and these products really have absolutely no tie to each other um, but he's having a huge success i looked at these uh nine foot patio umbrellas and they are number one under patio umbrellas so you know whoever is selling patio umbrellas on amazon this person right here is the best seller so they are having success but that is not all that they sell they sell christmas <laughs> christmas products now you know, take a second here my computer is a little slow um christmas stars they sell, sell fake trees they sell cases for trees they sell ornaments they sell the bottoms for trees whatever you want to call that but it is it is has nothing literally nothing to do with patio umbrellas uh christmas is winter patio umbrellas you're you're thinking summer it's two different seasons even a seasonal products but he's making he or she is making it it work now you can look at their uh canopy and hammocks that that can be a little outdoorsy maybe like your uh, patio umbrella but it has absolutely nothing to do with a storage cell shelf which he which he is also selling and he is selling very well over 5,000 reviews as you can see here i mean the the person has been doing it for a long time and if you're doing it for a long time on amazon and you're getting to that 5,000 review mark you are having success in selling your product um and he's selling three completely completely different 
you know, markets, three completely different sets of products. And this person is having a lot of success. So this is a second example of what kind of seller you can be. And that is a diverse seller that you're seeing right here. But there's also another type of seller you can be. And that is both of them, like we talked about earlier. And we're going to start talking about that. Now that you know what a diverse seller is and you know what a branded seller is, we are going to get into the third type of seller out there. And I do see these types of seller and it is both. You can, yes, you can both be a branded seller and a diverse seller. And we are going to get into that right now and show you how this is possible. So, all right, let's check it out. Let's go back to the computer. So here's, uh, I don't know if this is the best example or not, but it is definitely a good example of a person that is selling both branded and um, branded as a branded seller and a diverse seller. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to their store and we're going to visit this company called Magigo or Magijo or I have absolutely no idea how to say their company. It's right down here, M-A-G-I-G-O. Um, this is kind of we're gonna kind of we're kind of gonna deep dive into this person a little bit. No idea if it's a, a woman or a man, um, but what you can see is they do have a, a, a pretty nice line of ottoman trays right here that you that you can definitely tell they have a lot. But I did some research into Magi Magigo. <laughs> we'll call him just Magigo. And look at this kind of stuff. This stuff is crazy. What is this handcrafted bird shaped beechwood? What is this, you know, bread slicer? Why is there a blue toiletries leak proof, you know, travel bottle set? When, uh, when you first seen them, all they had is ottoman trays and, you know, kind of stuff, stuff to go on your, you know, in your home kitchen, living room, whatever. And then you come down here and you're like, whoa, what's this? Well, let's take a, a good look into what this is real fast. And with the help of Helium 10, I'll put a link in, in this video either up above on Facebook or down below on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link in here. Uh, if, you're, if you're interested in Helium 10, it's, it's actually a, it's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful software to have. Uh, I have it myself. I am not sitting here trying to pimp out Helium 10 or anything. I, I actually really, I use it a lot and you kind of, you're gonna see right now how I use it. Um, you look at this, they started selling this in probably the end of 2018, this one right here. And uh, let's actually go back. That was not their first product. I apologize. Their very first product, I think, was the other color, the pink one. We'll even go back even further. I kind of messed that up. Hang in, hang in there tight with me. I'm not, I'm not perfect at, at this kind of stuff. But Helium 10, well, check out their uh, their all time. Yep, July of 2018. July of 2018 is when Magigo, or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're the owner of Magigo or whatever and you're watching this. I'm totally butchering your company name. Um, I'm really impressed in what you do. So don't think it's a, any kind of disrespect. But you can see that they started selling their first product right around July of 2018. Now let's go back to their other products, their ottoman trays. Their ottoman trays, the one that I could find that came out the first, I believe was this one, the one that had the most reviews. Yep, 281 reviews. So this one, I believe came out first out of all their ottoman trays. And I, I wanna just kinda, I wanna walk you through what this process must have like must have been like for the owner of um, <laughs> Magigo. Magigo, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. So they started selling in September of 2019. Their first product that they put out there was in 2018 though. Like you seen earlier, it's those, uh, those portable flight thingy, whatever. So they must have been selling those, whatever. And then they found a different product that was gonna work. That would have been this ottoman tray that you see right here. And they thought, oh crap, let's sell an ottoman tray. And it must have worked. And that's why they are releasing so many different ottoman trays. Um, it's this is the This is a perfect example of just, many out there that can be both a branded seller you can see that their brand you know, look at that picture when you look at there you're looking at stuff you know they're trying to present that they sell ottoman trays you know wooden products but that's not necessarily all they sell they sell you know stuff that's totally unrelated now this you could be saying you know hey what's the difference between that and a diverse seller it is a diver diverse seller they are a branded company and a diverse seller at the same time so <laughs> i hope you kind of i hope you're kind of catching that and what i'm trying to put out there well uh, we'll go we'll get out of this computer screen and i'll finish up this video so there is many many things to think about if you're going to try to get into this amazon selling business um the the purpose of this video is to let you guys not get the buggy in front of the horse um this was never taught to me when I very first started Cedar Sense. Uh, nobody ever explained to me how there are different types of sellers. I mean, 
I I started selling a product and I knew that my products wanted I wanted to keep products along the same lines and then as I got in more and more into it I met people that are just selling that are super successful at selling products that have absolutely nothing to do with each other and they're doing just as fine too um, but I most definitely do think you need to think about what type of seller that you want to be if you're going to be getting into this Amazon selling game um, before you pick your first product uh, you pick a product that that you have passion for and you want to keep you want to keep stay you want to stay within that product realm then maybe look at some of the more products that you're going to tr try to sell in the future and see if that see if they can be profitable now there's there's pros and cons to being a branded seller so like one of the one of the pros of being a, a branded seller is you can use social media to your advantage uh by finding a niche group in in a private group and just really, really hitting that home and, and building your audience that that loves your niche product. Um, you can't really do that with being a diverse seller. But there's pros to being a, a diverse seller um, over a branded seller is you have way more of a product selection that you can you can reach out to uh, being a diverse seller. You're not pigeonholed like you are a branded seller. So it's it's definitely things that you need to think of. Like when, when I say you're not pigeonholed, it means that you can sell a variety of everything, which means you can get out there and sell a hundred different things that are in a hundred different markets a uh, hundred different products where if you're a branded seller you might have a hundred products out there like poopery but they're all in the same you know lane or the same realm whatever you want to call it um pros of being a branded seller is you might only deal with a couple suppliers that's it and you don't have to deal with many suppliers like you would with uh being a diverse seller that's that's one some things that people don't like and they don't like dealing with with a whole bunch of different suppliers that can, that can be a tough game so these are just things you really got to think about before you start selling that first product are you not entertained now if you like this video uh i am not i'm giving it away for free i'm giving my knowledge away for free um i learned how to sell successfully on amazon and it's just I see people have so many roadblocks and I want to help everybody out that's in this. I truly do. I am not asking for anything. I'm not asking for a dime and you are going to see another. I, this is a series of 15 videos that I'm putting out there of how to become a better Amazon seller. Things that, that don't get taught out there that I have learned all, uh, within the last you know, year, 18, 19 months. I started this in 2000. Uh, uh, 2019 in August of 2019 so and and we're already at the stage of where we're, we're selling over a half a million dollars a year in products so it's just we are doing things right over here at Cedar Sense and I and there's so many things that that I've learned through trial and error that I want to pass on to, to you people out there that want to be into this now you can be you can be saying man I don't sell on Amazon but it's something that I want to get into these videos can also help you there <laughs> Are, are you maybe you know a cousin or a brother or an auntie or somebody that that wants to get into this let show them these videos show at least at least have them um see what this is all about and and the reason why i started with with this video first is because before you even should be picking out your product you should be knowing what kind of a company you want to set up i think that is very very important for your amazon online retail business um like i said i do not ask for any money i'm not charging you for this video uh all i do ask that is if you are getting any sort of value out of this video if you got any if you got any kind of knowledge out of this video pass it on pass the knowledge on just like i'm passing the knowledge on to you guys um if you're if you're watching this on facebook uh share it uh put it you you know, tag some people in, in there that you think might be interested in this might be something that you absolutely have nothing to want you want to do with you don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole but maybe your little nephew is really getting into wanting to get into retail he could watch this or maybe you're like i said your your mother or maybe your sister it, this is perfect for her uh, share this video tag the person that you think is interested in this video if you have any comments or questions put them down below on the youtube or, or, or on facebook too um, I will be answering all questions when it comes to this. Um, if you have anything that you are having trouble with, you're an online seller yourself, please reach out to me personally or, or ask the questions down below because when people read your questions, I will answer them and they will learn too. The whole, uh, the whole gist of, of what's behind setting, sending out these 15 videos that you're gonna, you're gonna get here real soon every other day is just to make people better sellers on Amazon. Um, People like the three million dollar a year man that helped me out in the very beginning. Um, like, I would not be here today as quick as I got here today without people like him. 
uh, without him and people like him. And, and so I am doing the same thing that he did, but in a whole different way. I'm reaching out to a, a vast amount of people and the more people that can see videos, these videos coming out, uh, the better. And just if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, subscribe down below um, because you don't, you're not going to want to miss these other videos that come out and they're going to be coming out every other day. <laughs> so hang on and uh, just thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, my name is Mike Vale, owner of Cedar Sense, and I will see you again. Watch for our next video coming up. Bye.